arithmetic operators in prolog what are the common arithmetic operators which will be used to write one algebraic expression we shall discuss here in this session so here is the list of basic arithmetic operators so here we are having plus minus star slash for division double star or double asterisk is for exponentiation that is to the power of so a double star b means a to the power of b in this case and here slash slash denotes integer division that means it will take only the integer part of the quotient and the fractional part will be discarded and what about this mod mod is for modulo or modulus that means the remainder of the division so let us go for some examples if we write x is equal to 1 plus 2 it will give you x is equal to 1 plus 2 but if we write in prolog that x is 1 plus 2 it will give you the value 3 that means 1 and 2 will get added and then 3 will be obtained and that value will be kept in the variable x x has been written in capital letters that denotes that it is a variable x is 5 by 2 it will give you 2.5 y is 5 double slash 2 that means what means integer division so it will give you 2 in this case z is 5 mod 2 so, if you divide 5 by 2 and if you consider only the remainder, so you will be getting z as is equal to 1 and w is mod 10 3. So, if you divide 10 by 3, so the remainder will be 1. So, w is equal to 1. In this way, the answers will be obtained. You can also do the practice at your end and you can check that what are the outputs are coming. So, for the better understanding, let us go for one practical demonstration where we shall show you how to use these arithmetic operators. We have written one program in prolog. In this program, we are having this uh, plus operator to denote the algebraic addition, minus for subtraction, star for multiplication, slash for division, slash slash for integer division, star star means it is exponentiation that is to the power of, so 100 star star 2 means 100 to the power of 2 that is 100 square and mod denotes the remainder of the division. So, in this way we have written and here we have written the right clause and to print this text and then the value and nl denotes the new line. It denotes the if and this comma will be always for and operation. So, now in this way we have written this program. So, let me execute the code here. So, already my program has been compiled and has got loaded into the memory and there is no error generated. So, I'm going for this calculate. So, I'm getting the respective output as is well. So, 100 by 30, we are getting this uh, result that is the quotient, and here we are getting 100 slash slash 30. So, we are getting the integer part of the quotient that is the integer division. And here 100 mod 30 will be 10 as is well. So, 100 square will give you a value here 10,000. So, in this way, we have written our code. So, always remember while writing this right clause, do not leave any blank space in between. If you leave a blank space, so that might be producing errors in the compilation. So, I am doing the compilation here you see one syntax error is coming. So, this syntax error is only due to that blank space which I gave. So, I am just eliminating the blank space again, saving my program and compiling and loading the program into the memory again. You see there is no error generated but that was a syntax error here. So this is the difference you can easily find and now if I execute my code it will be running ok. So in this way we have shown you that how to use the um, arithmetic operators in prolog in our program. Thanks for watching this.